Yo, what's good? As you can see from the title, yup, I am putting Kawhi Leonard in the 1996 NBA draft. Now you can see on the top right, yup, we are in 1995, and the draft class that I am using has Kobe Bryant. Now I've been reading the comments, and believe me, I do read the comments, and y'all wanted me to put Kawhi at, at, in the same simulations as Jordan and Kobe. So you know what? I'm gonna do y'all a favor, and I'm gonna make a Kawhi simulation. Now as you know, this draft class is stacked. They got AI, uh, Sharif, Antoine Walker, it got Ray Allen, Steve Nash, Peja Stojakovic, and Kawhi Leonard. So I'm going to go straight to the draft lottery and the NBA draft. Uh, and we're, we're going to see what team pick up Kawhi Leonard. And let's see how well his career does. Will he be better than Kobe? We'll see. Let's see if Kawhi has that dog in him to be the best out of that draft class. And by the way, I send the first couple of years. So players aren't going to be in the original team. Like Shaq won't be on the Magic, you know. Uh, but we still have a hey, David Robinson. He's a Cleveland Cavalier. Shaq is a Sacramento King. Patrick Ewing still on his old team. Yada yada yada. Sean Kemp's a Sixer. Um, Tim Hardaway. Yeah, he's a Hornet. You know, like like things like that. And Scottie Pippen. Yeah, he's playing with uh John Stockton and Carl Malone. So yeah, they they have something going on over there. And if y'all care for the past five years, you know Jordan won every single MVP besides this one where Larry Johnson won. And Penny Hardaway, he won a ring with the Dallas Mavericks Jordan won one with the Bulls Larry Johnson won one with the Hornets or twice with the Hornets and Magic Johnson won one in 1992 as well so now that you're up to date we're gonna go ahead and go in the draft lottery and these are the top three we got the Bullets the Grizzlies and the Raptors all right Kawhi Leonard he is projected third in the NBA draft all right here we are we're in the NBA draft 1996 the Bullets who they're gonna pick and they're gonna pick Kobe Bryant with number one here goes number two, the Vancouver Grizzlies. They're on the clock, and they will pick up Allen Iverson. Now, here we go. The moment of truth, number three, the Toronto Raptors are on the clock, and they pick Kawhi Leonard. Wow, that's that's a crazy circumstance. Now, personally, I think Kawhi should have stayed on the Raptors, you know, a little bit longer, but it is what it is. He wanted to be in L.A. either way. But if you cared about the rest of the draft, Steve Nash went to the Pistons. Ray Allen, you know, he's on the Suns. Stephon Marbury on the Bucks. Yada, yada, yada. David Robinson, he's going to be playing for the Rockets, man. And Clyde Drexler, he went to the Hawks. Patrick Ewing staying loyal. Lots of morning on the Bucks. It's crazy. The day that I'm recording this video, it's like tomorrow's going to be the start of the NBA, man. Like season opener. I can't. I, I'm just so excited, bro. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to make my early predictions. I feel like Joel Embiid's going to win MVP this year. You know, he's been crying about it for the past two seasons. So I think they're going to finally give it to him if he stays healthy. And rookie of the year, I think it's going to go to Keegan Murray. Six man of the year. I'm going to go for like an underdog right here i'm gonna go bones highland i really like bones highland but it could go to jordan Poole as well you know I, I i could see him winning that as well and for most improved they really messed that award up you know i'm not gonna lie to you they used to be like players that just blew like blossom out of nowhere but now they're giving it to like top lottery picks so uh, to be honest i feel like i feel like tyree Taliburn will win like most improved you know he, he was averaging 17 and i don't know how many assists and for a DPOY, um, that could go that could go to anyone. But to be honest, uh, probably Bam or Jaron Jackson. But Jaron Jackson is gonna miss like a like the first month, so I don't know. But I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and say Bam at a bio. And if I was to predict like a finals, like who I would see in the finals, it's so early to tell. But I could definitely see the Bucks going back. I could definitely see the Clippers if they manage to like load manage Kawhi and everybody else. But you know that that's an injury prone team. But if not the Clippers, then and definitely the Warriors, man. Like, the Warriors are just like that, bro. And then the, this 97 season, Larry Johnson wins MVP. Kawhi Leonard, what do you know out of that 1996 draft class? He wins rookie of the year, averaging 22, 4, 2, and almost two steals and a block. That's insane, man. And then Nick Van Dyke, so six, man. David Robinson wins a DPOI as well. And most improved, went to Kevin Garnett. Like, what? Okay, he went from averaging 16 from his rookie year, but come on, man. He was the third pick. How is he most improved? And of course, we're one of the worst teams in the Eastern Conference Finals, but at least we weren't worse than the Grizzlies, you know? Uh, they did draft AI. The team who drafted Kobe it was the Bullets. They won 38 games, so uh, I, I could definitely see us matching up with them in the playoffs sooner or later. And the end of this playoffs, and the Mavericks win another championship, you know? They won back-to-back. -back. Penny Hardaway is a two-time champion in this video. And wow, us being one of the worst teams, we wasn't able to get a like a top two pick. We got number four. So 
we just got messed up. You know, we couldn't get Tim Duncan or Tracy McGrady, but hey, we got Chauncey Billups on our team, so that's a plus right there. I'm not gonna lie, Chauncey Billups. And these and these simulations, he he be a god sometimes. I'm not even lying to you. Michael Jordan at the age of 34, he's playing for the Pacers. Carl Malone's on the Nuggets, and it looks like Larry Johnson left the Hornets too, and just. Teamed up with Penny Hardaway, man. Like, he's ring chasing. I didn't notice then towards now, like, in our second year, that Jerry Stackhouse was drafted the year before Kawhi Leonard. So, yeah, um, he's just coming off our six-man spot, but hopefully he makes a starting row. You know, he could play shooting guard. But we got Eddie Jones for now, which isn't too bad. But, yeah, Chauncey Billups, he is the eighth man. But Kawhi Leonard, he's our, he's our star player. Jason Kidd on the Pacers one most valuable player. I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan's on this team too, but Jason Kidd went ahead and averaged 27, 6, and 9. Tim Duncan winning rookie of the year. He's on the Spurs. He got drafted by his original team, so that's what I like to see, man. Six man with Sharif Abdul Rahim. DPOY went to David Robinson. Hopefully, Kawhi Leonard could make it to one of these. I'm not going to lie. I want him to win one, but Ray Allen wins most improved, averaging 23. And of course, our Raptors suck. But hey, Kawhi Leonard, let's see what you average. Yeah, he's almost averaging 25. Uh, He's averaging five rebounds and two assists, shooting 47% from the field. Not too bad. His shooting numbers are going up. And he's already at an 86 overall too. But we were, we're just not good enough to make the playoffs yet. So maybe we'll get a top pick again. Let's just pray, man, because they really messed us over last year. And the Clippers, wow, you'll never see that. Uh, They won the NBA Finals. And of course, Kevin Garnett. Took him there to the promised land, winning finals MVP, averaging 27, 18, and 8 assists. My God. Now we have a 7% chance to win the lottery, and we won. Hey, we got top three. I'm not even complaining. You know, hopefully we get Dirk or Vince Carter or, you know, or maybe even Paul Pierce, too. That would be insane. And we ended up getting LaFrance. We passed up on Dirk Nowitzki, and we got LaFrance. We passed up on Paul Pierce and Dirk to draft LaFrance, bro. Oh my God, man. That is insane. What what are the Raptors doing? And Kawhi Leonard, he progressed to be a 90 overall, but man, that pissed me off. We could have had Dirk Nowitzki, bro. Dirk was in our hands, but we got LaFrance. We literally made the same mistake as the Nuggets did, bro. Like we picked them third, third overall, bro. Like, man, like, this is like repeating history. God damn. I mean, we did need a center, but you know what? I, I, to me, I'd rather pick best available than what the team needs. A hundred percent of the time. But that's just me, man. That's just me. And Jason Kidd winning MVP again, averaging a double-double with two steals. Mike Bibby, he ended up winning Rookie of the Year for the Warriors. So congratulations to him. And most improved went to Kawhi Leonard. Yup. He averaged 30 and 5 and 3, man. That's insane. Is this is this most improved worthy? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what most improved worthy is nowadays. Even averaging 30, we wasn't able to get all, on an all-NBA first team, but we did get on an all-NBA second team. So it, it's cool, man. It's cool. And not yet. We haven't went on an all-defensive team yet, man. That's what I'm waiting for, man. Kawhi needs to show that he is a valuable defender and look at this we are the third seed man we officially made the playoffs we're going against the charlotte hornets they have kendall gill and tim hardaway they don't they don't have larry johnson so no more so we might have a chance and they got vladi divak hopefully we get past them man i don't want to lose our first playoff game this is the best of five by the way too we are up 2-1 can we get through them right here and nope they even up the series man now we are in game five and my god uh it's looking like we are in trouble but we are only down one now. I'm going to go ahead and jump in with 46 seconds left. Let's see if we can come back. Oh, and Kawhi almost got the inbound steal. That would have been so clutch. But we got to stop him here. Yeah, either way. Goes Tim Hardaway with the pick and roll step back. Had nothing there, but he pulls up for the midi. Couldn't get it to go. And Vladi Divac gets the offensive board and gets the second chance points. God damn it, man. All right, we are down by three, y'all. What? Bro, 2K, fix your game. Why are we calling timeout every damn time? Uh, they still have that to this day. I see Kawhi takes a pick and roll. What will Kawhi do? Step back, midi. Puts it in. Only a one-point game now. Oh, and if we get the inbound still. It was so clutch, bro. I'm not going to lie. That step back, midi by Kawhi was so pretty. Bro, give it a Kawhi, please. Please give it a... And you throw it away. Okay. You 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 do something special for us just to throw it away. 
Like, like nice, man. We're gonna have to pray for Sean Bradley to miss this, and he makes the first. All right, dear God, please make. Uh, and he's gonna make the second. Nice. All right, uh, our odds are pretty much over. We have three seconds. Kawhi for the time three, and we couldn't get it to go. That is very heartbreaking. And we get eliminated in the first round, but Kawhi, you did what you could, man. I don't blame you. Your teammates are just stupid. All right, at the end of that game, Kawhi dropped 31, 6, and 3, and 2 steals. But my God, 7 turnovers, Kawhi? Hey, it's okay. We we lose those first rounds this early, man. It, it's okay, man. Uh, we'll get through it. We'll come back next year, and we'll just be better than ever, for sure. And the Sixers, they do end up winning it all. Cappuccini wins finals MVP, man. But Michael Jordan just went to L.A. like at his old age, man. He's 36. Get your old ass out the league, man. Go play baseball. And Kawhi Leonard, he's already a 91 overall. And Steve Nash wins the MVP with the Pistons, averaging 33 and 9. Damn, that was nowhere near what he did in his actual MVP season, man. But hey, this Steve Nash is different. And Lamar Odom, he wins Rookie of the Year. Lonzo Mourning wins DPOY. And Steve Nash, of course, most improved. And Kawhi Leonard, he wins the All-NBA second team again. And in this season, he's averaging 29, 6, and 3. Okay, shooting 55% from the field and 47% from the three now. What a big improvement, man. And finally, Kawhi Leonard made it on the All-Defensive First Team for the first time. That makes me happy right there. Congratulations, Kawhi. And y'all wouldn't believe it, but we are the first seed, man. We are officially the first seed. We are going up against the Orlando Magic. Uh, the Orlando Magic, they have Glenn Robinson, Christian Leitner, Nick Anderson. You know, but our team is better, bro. We have Eddie Jones, Chauncey Billups, Kawhi Leonard, LaFrance. You know, he's our solid center. I was hating on him at first, but, you know, hey, Dirk Nowitzki would have been crazy as well. But we do take game one. We take game two, let's see, and we go ahead and to the second round just like that. And we are going against the Miami Heat in the second round. Let's see who they have. And they have Nick Van Exel, Ricky Pierce, Glenn Rice, Tom Gugliotta. That's a pretty solid team, I'm not going to lie to you. So we do win game one. They win game two. We win game three. We win game four. And we win it in five games. We are officially in the Eastern Conference Finals. What did I say last year, man? We we're going to come back better than ever. And now we're going against the number seeded Number two seeded Washington Wizards. They have Akeem Olajuwon, but he's old as hell. And of course, we are going up against Kobe Bean Bryant, the person that Kawhi has trained with and pretty much kind of idolized too. So let's see who wants it more, man. Toronto, we win game one. We win game two. We win game three. Uh, we couldn't have swept Kobe, but we win in five games. That is crazy. Let's see from game one, Kawhi dropped 21, Kobe dropped 34, damn. All right, in game two, Kobe dropped 17, but Kawhi, he went ahead and dropped 29. Game three, Kobe dropped 38, but we still won because Kawhi and Chauncey are just that dynamic duo, I'm telling you. And Kawhi dropping 36 while Kobe dropping 31 in game five. It, hey, what a series. I wish it went to seven though. But we are officially in the finals already and we are playing against you know, the Phoenix Suns, who have Ray Allen and Dwight Buckner, Juwan Howard, Keith Van Horn. Not too bad, but I feel like our team is better. So the Suns, they do take game one. Oh, no, they're up 2-0. They are going to sweep us. What is happening? All right, Ray Allen, just a casual 39 in game three. Game one, we lose by five. Game two, we lose by nine. Are we really losing like that? Like... I think, I think, look at LaFrance, he's dropping, he's going on one for nine. I told you, bro. Dirk Nowitzki wouldn't have done that. But man, I, it looks like we're going to lose. And yup, we got swept in the NBA Finals. Just like that, Ray Allen beat us. Averaging 31, 6, and 6. That's crazy. That's a crazy way to go out. I'm not going to lie to you. Like in game four, Ray Allen dropped 47 on us, man. But Kawhi dropped 41. But like, what else can he do? Like LaFrance, he went three for 10, man. 3 for 10. So starting off already, Kawhi Leonard, he's 0-1 in the finals, you know. It's pretty much like in real life. But, hey, we're going to go back to the finals again, and we're going to win this time. Is Steve Nash averaging 40 and 7? Like, god damn. He won three MVPs already. And Kawhi Leonard, he officially won DPOY. What I tell you, man? Averaging 28, 6, and 3 with two steals, 1.3 blocks. Kawhi Leonard making an all NBA second team again. Kawhi Leonard making an all NBA second team again. Hopefully, he makes first team. But hey, he makes all the defensive first team just because he's the DPOY winner. 
Uh, we are going against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first round. We are the first seed once again. We're going against Manu Bo. So let's come on. Let's go ahead and sweep them real quick in this first round. And they do take game three. And there we go. We beat them in four. Now we're going against the Charlotte Hornets. Let's see who the Hornets have. They still have Vladi Divac, Kendall Gill, Tim Hardaway. This is the first team that eliminated, eliminated us in our first playoff. But they take game one. We take game two. We take game three. They take game four. We take game five. Can we close it out? Nope. We are going into game seven, man. And we lose to the Hornets once again, man. We just always end up losing to the Hornets. But hey, it, it looks like Kobe, he got eliminated by the Pacers too. Oh yeah, because the Pacers, they have Jason Kidd, man. He, he be going crazy. So there we go. We wasn't able to go back to the finals again. And it looks like the Sonics and the Hornets went to the finals. And the Sonics win with Antonio McDyess winning finals MVP. Dan Marley and Mark Price was on that team too. And Tracy McGrady. Damn, that's a that's a pretty good squad right there. Jason Kidd took his talents to the Miami Heat. And Chauncey Billups, he gets to resign with us. Hey, good good, good thinking, Chauncey. Good thinking, because we not done, man. Bro, what is happening? Why is Steve Nash winning so many goddamn MVPs? Gilbert Arenas wins Rookie of the Year. And Kawhi Leonard is a two-time Defensive Player of the Year. Yup, you heard it here first, man. He's like that. And Kawhi Leonard officially made it on his All-NBA first team. You see it? Same team as AI, KG, Steve Nash, Kobe Bryant. He's at season at number two. But we are the fifth seed. I don't know what got worse. I don't know. We uh, Technically, I guess we got worse, but we still got Chauncey, Gary Stackhouse, Eddie Jones, and LaFrance. This is a solid lineup. We're going against Steve Nash, the MVP. He has Scotty and old Scotty Pippen and Richard Hamilton. Our team is better overall, so we should win this. We do win game one. They win game two. They win game three, we win game four, and they eliminated us nice. In the game five, we got beaten by a, by nine. Like Richard Hamilton just went crazy and dropped 45 on us. Like what is this? Kawhi still doing Kawhi things, dropping 37, five and four, but Chauncey, where were you? You're shooting four for 12? That's a shame, man. Kawhi, Kawhi just having bad luck in these playoffs. Like what, what can I tell you? I'm just gonna simulate this whole thing and it's the Charlotte Hornets. Winning again, Kendall Gill wins a finals MVP. What is this? Wins it with Sean Marion, Vladi Divac, Sean Kemp, Kendall Gill. Kevin Garnett, he's going to the Heat. He's teaming up with Jason Kidd, just know that. Vince Carter, he's a bull. But everybody else, they're basically resigning, man. But really, KG? Now, I don't know what happened. Like, bro, the game glitched with his age and like his years pro. Like, obviously he's been playing since 96, but, and he's 27, you know? Like, he's basically in the seventh year. But, bro, like, I don't know what 2K's on, man. Like, look, I'm trying to change his years pro, but it just don't. Oh, well, hopefully he doesn't end up retiring at the age of 50, man, because I can't. And Kevin Garnett, he wins MVP after switching teams after 26 and 13. Mari Stardemeyer wins rookie of the year for the Cavs. Baron Davis, six men. And Kawhi Leonard just can't stop winning DPO-wise. That's what I like to see. Just keep collecting them, man. That's his third one. Yup, just just keep doing it. Just keep collecting them like they like they Funko Pops, man. And All NBA first team goes to Kawhi again. He just he's unstoppable, bro. He's averaging twenty nine and eight and four, bro. Like he, no one can no one could check him. Now we are the fourth seed. This is our team right here. We are going against Steve Nash and Richard Hamilton again. Hopefully Richard Hamilton doesn't forty ball us like last time. So let's see what happens. We do win game one. We win game two. Can we get past them? And the first, oh yeah, this is the best of seven because it's the year 2003. Please do not blow a 3-0 lead. What is happening? We're back with a game seven, man. And it's not looking good right now because we're. it looks like we're about to blow a 3-0 lead. 50 seconds and we're only up by one. So we, we're gonna we're gonna jump in, man. I can't believe we just blew a 3-0 lead. Well, what will Kawhi do with the pull up three? Gets it to go, oh my God. That was an awkward looking three, but he got it. Hamilton down to the paint and he gets blocked oh my god all right steve nash he gets the ball that's out to hamilton to the corner couldn't get it to go what a rebound by hayes he will get fouled okay here goes the first and he makes it oh my god Kawhi leonard thank you so much for saving this organization from another first round exit that was such a clutch three bro here are the second and of course he misses it steve nash with the contested pull up three nope hell no that would be game. I'm not watching these free throws. We did win that game seven. Kawhi carrying us 44 points, nine rebounds, two assists. This is going shooting six for nine from three. My God. 
Now we're going against the eighth-seeded Chicago Bulls. They beat the Washington Wizards, who they do have Kobe, by the way. And now oh, the Bulls, they have Vince Carter and Hedo. We should be able to win this. Come on. Let's go to the Eastern Conference Finals, please. We lost the game. We're down 3-1? Who do they have that we're down 3-1? Dikembe Mutombo? Like, what is this? We got a Hedo Turkoglu dropping 44 on us. Like, what is this? That is, that is embarrassing, man. Like, oh my God. You know what? Just eliminate us, man. Have their Cinderella run. God damn it, bro. So what a disappointing playoff. And the Clippers, they win another NBA Finals. Antonio McDyess, congratulations again. Kobe Bryant, man, he went to the Boston Celtics, leaving the Washington Wizards. And Ray Allen went to the damn Pistons. So he's going to be playing with Steve Nash, man. Steve Nash and Ray Allen on the same team? Like, what is this world, bro? Here's the player regression. Kawhi, he's a 94. I think he's pretty much capped out, but who knows? The French, he's a 85. Eddie Jones, Jerry Stackhouse. We still have the same lineup. And, oh my God, we have Brian Scalabrini. I did not notice that, bro. We got to give him some minutes because, hey, man, I think he might be our lucky charm. Evan Garnett wins another MVP averaging 26, 13, and 8. LeBron James wins rookie of the year with the Supersonics. I just realized that. My God, he got drafted by them. And Tim Duncan wins the DPOY. So it wasn't Kawhi Leonard this year, but hey, I ain't mad. Kawhi won like three of them. But Kawhi, he ain't even make an NBA team at all, man. But he made an all defensive first team. What did he average? He averaged 26, seven and four. A little down year for Kawhi, but it's cool, man. But you know what's not cool? We didn't make the playoffs at all. We only won 36 games, bro. Even with Chauncey Billups, like, our starting five, like, what is this, bro? Bro, Brian Scalabrini, he didn't even do anything for us, huh? We have Fred Hoiberg. Like, I hate Fred Hoiberg just, just for coaching my Chicago Bulls. He could, bro, uh, you know, I, I might release his ass. I, I I didn't even notice that he was on the team. I'm going to release his ass. But since we didn't make the playoffs, I'm simulating. And you already know, we're probably going to go back to the lottery. And Antonio McDyess just can't stop winning finals MVP. That's the world we live in right now. And in 2005, Tracy McGrady managed to win an MVP with the Supersonics. He's averaging 38 and 7. That's actually insane. Dwight Howard, he's playing for the Sixers. Uh, Baron Davis, he's six man for the Warriors. Why well, you look at that? And of course, Kawhi Leonard coming back to win his DPOI, man, like he's never left. He's averaging 27, 7, and 4 and two steals. And Kawhi Leonard, he is the All NBA second team along with Kobe Bryant. And our Raptors are playing against Kobe Bryant as well. So we got Chauncey, we got Jerry, Kawhi, Brian Scalabrini is on our starting lineup. And we're going against, you know, Kobe Bryant. Hopefully one day Kawhi, you know, wins the MVP or a championship, you know. But yeah, Kobe, they're up 2-1 and 2-2. Two -two. There we go. Kawhi's coming back. And we're, hey, we just came back from a 2-0 lead. And look at that. We are going to a game seven. Damn, and it looks like we got an ass whooping by Kobe because we just lost by 10 in that game seven right there. Kobe Bryant in the game seven, he dropped 45 on us. Like, uh, that speaks for itself. And Chauncey, he dropped 36 and 16. But Kawhi, where was he? You only dropped 17 points. But there we go. That's another dead playoffs right there. And the Pistons, they ended up winning it with Steve Nash with that super team. You remember, they have Ray Allen and Steve Nash teaming up. And they ended up being the Clippers. And this year's draft, we drafted Charlie Villanueva. But Vince Carter, he's going to the Mavericks. And Jason Kidd, he's moving on from the Miami Heat, and he's going to the Pacers. So he's not going to be playing with Kevin Garnett no more. Man, if only Kawhi could, like, you know, recruit people, you know, like he did with Paul George. That would be nice. But, you know, our team, it's pretty stagnant. You know, we, we didn't get anybody crazy. It's just still it's still Kawhi Leonard, Chauncey Billups, Jerry Stackhouse, LaFrance, man. Man, I wish we had Dirk, bro. That sucks. Kevin Garnett, back to winning MVP, man. He's averaging 26 and 12. Chris Paul, rookie of the year for the Knicks. And then we got Baron Davis, of course, another six man. And DPOY went to Tim Duncan. Look how loyal Tim Duncan is, man. He has the move from the Spurs. Like, he, he's been on the same team since he got drafted. But Wild Leonard makes another All NBA second team, man. He just loves making the second team, even though he's averaging 29, 8, and 4. But hey, we're good enough to be the second seed, so that's what's up. And we're going against Kobe Bryant, I believe, too. Simulate game by game. We do win game one. They take game two. They take game three. And we're still going to lose to Kobe, aren't we? Yup, and we ended up losing to Kobe as a 7th seed, man. Hey, can you blame him? The teacher just, like, humbling the student. Like, he's dropping 46 every game. Like, come on, man. It's it's, it's insane. And this playoffs, like, Kobe's averaging 39 against us. Like, that's crazy, bro. Kawhi, I don't know what you was averaging in that first round. He was averaging 34, 10, and 6. Like, he, he did all that he can end. And Kobe Bryant, he does go to the finals, but he ended up losing to the Supersonics. And, yup, LeBron James is there. Damn, we missed a LeBron-Kobe Bryant. 
finals matchup, but LeBron, he got Tracy McGrady on his team, and yeah, you, you know how that ended up. Wow, Dirk Nowitzki, he went to the Hawks. You know, you, you should have went to our team, you know, the team we originally should have drafted. Bro. And of course, we resigned LaFrance, bro, because, you know, uh, why not? Like Kawhi Leonard, he's 31. I don't know when he's going to start regressing, but it's looking bad. You can see his physicals, he's going down. He's getting older, man. We we need to win him an MVP or a ring someday, bro. Like, he needs it. LeBron James, he wins MVP averaging 31 and 8 and 7. And Kyle Lowry, rookie of the year for the Nets. Joe Smith, six man. Kawhi Leonard, another DPOY. I'm proud. I'm proud he's winning, uh, you know, defensive player of the year. But, you know, an MVP would be cool. Or, like, a, a finals MVP, you know? Like, I, I believe Kawhi made it to the finals once and hasn't made it back since. But, hey, of course, all NBA second team again. And, guys, we're going against the Milwaukee Bucks. We ended up being the third seed, by the way. Uh, I want to know what who their lineup is. They have Tony Parker, Isaiah Ryder, Chris Bosch. Okay, some good names right there, but come on, man. We should get past them. We lose game one. We lose game two. Is, is Kawhi just bad in the playoffs? Okay, we just came back from a 2-0 lead, and there we go. We're officially in the second round. It's been a minute, man. But we're going against the second-seeded Indiana Pacers. They have Jason Kidd and Dwayne Wade. Wow, and Jermaine O'Neal. Like, there's no way. There's, like, no way in hell we win this, right? They're up already 2-0. They're, they're going to probably game us in five, but wait, hold on. Let me, let me stop doubting my team, man. And it wasn't close. We actually blew them out. But so we're going into a game seven. Let's see what happens. Damn it, game seven, we just beat them just like that. Uh, We're in the Eastern Conference Finals once again. Now we have to go against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the Cleveland Cavaliers, they have Amari Stoudemire, okay. Rob Oakley, Courtney Aldridge. Not a crazy team. Not a crazy team compared to us. You know, we should be able to go back to the finals. We do win game one. We win game two. Okay, they take game three. They also take game four, and we're up 3-2 now. And there we go. We're back in the finals, and guess who we're playing against? Yup, it is the chosen one, LeBron James. They also have Tracy McGrady on their team, and they have Jason Williams as well. They have White Chocolate. Shout out White Chocolate, man. But look, we have the White Mamba, Brian Scalabrini, so it kind of evens out, you know? But the question is, can Kawhi lock up LeBron James? Uh, we're working about finding out, and we do win game one. I want to know, Tracy McGrady dropped 51, and they still lost. LeBron James, I guess he got clamped, man. He followed out, going shooting four for 10. That's what happens when you put Kawhi Leonard on him, man. Kawhi dropped 31 points. Let's go game two. The Sonics do win that. Tracy going crazy as usual. Someone needs to guard Tracy, man. He's dropping 42. LeBron, he's dropping a uh, triple-double. So, he, Kawhi, he didn't have the best of games, I'll tell you that. And here we go. We win game three. Kawhi dropped a 40 bomb. LeBron also dropped 44. Wow. We're going to go ahead and simulate. And, hey, damn, Brian Steve Scalabrini was our leading scorer. Yeah, that, that's how you know we lost this. But LeBron is going to do LeBron things. Here we go. This is the game five. And the Supersonics do take that. LeBron dropped 28 and 12. Damn, where was where was Kawhi? Okay, he dropped 23, 6, and 7. We're going to have to come back uh, and try to even up this series. So come on, man. And oh my God, we're done by one with a minute 49 left. Let's see if Kawhi could even this series up. All right, let's see. We got LeBron on Kawhi, man. This is the matchup for the ages. Kawhi takes the screen, pulls up for the midi. Couldn't get it to go. Here we go. LeBron. He takes the pick and roll. What will he do? He's driving. Thin jumper. And he couldn't get it to go. And there's a violation right there. I don't know what the hell happened. I think it was offensive. Jerry Stackhouse takes the pick and roll. Passes it down to Kawhi. Takes the hook over LeBron. Couldn't get that to go. What is he doing? Oh, no. We have Brian Scalabrini on LeBron, man. This, is, this isn't going to end well. He's isolating on him. LeBron to the lane. Gets the layup. And he's doing his classic celebration. My God, I knew I knew that was going to be bad, bro. What is Kawhi doing? He takes the pull-up midi. Couldn't get that to go. He's just breaking up. He's building up a house in Toronto. Jason Williams by Tracy. And for the end, one lane. That's pretty crazy, man. Bro, the Raptors, they could have they could have came back, but Kawhi just choked, man. What was that pass, Brian? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Bro, Scalabrini, I've been gassing you up this whole video, man. And this is the pass you throw. Are you serious? 
straight to LeBron. Like, do you know what team you are on? And LeBron, he's driving up, finds Wayne at the under the rim, and that's game, man. I don't want to, I don't want to watch the rest of the game because my God, what did I just witness? And here's the final stats: uh, Kawhi, you choked in the last second, shooting five for fifteen, dropping twenty-four. And LeBron, uh, he did LeBron things, but Kawhi, come on, man, are you serious? So there you go, the Sonics win another one. Kawhi Leonard is now zero and two in the finals. Um, he just has bad luck in the playoffs. He's basically Chris Paul at this point. Chris Paul with a with a long wingspan. Chris Paul with braids, basically. For some reason, Kawhi Leonard went up uh, overall. He's a 95 now. Chauncey's a 93. I, I, bro, I, like, we have some type of depth. Like, we should be winning championships if we have Charlie Villanueva on our team. Ron James, another MVP. KD's on the Lakers. That's pretty weird. And he's wearing the number 31. Gross. But Desmond Mason, uh, Kawhi Leonard, another DPOY. He's just like that, bro. But guys, we are back to the second seed again, bro. And we're going against the Bucks. Uh, we had trouble with them, but hey, hopefully we get past them again. They have Tony Parker and Chris Bosh still. We win game one. Uh, we win game two. Can we sweep them, please? Yup. We took three. Okay, they took a game, but hey, we beat them in five, so it doesn't even matter. So we're going against the Boston Celtics, who still have Kobe Bryant, and we know how Kobe Bryant does this in the playoffs. Uh, even though they're the sixth seed, I'm not very confident. And yup, he takes game one. We take game two. We take game three. Come on. Okay, we take game four. And there we go. We beat them in five. I was so scared right there. Now we're going against Cleveland Cavaliers again. Uh, we beat them last time. Hey, they beat the number one seeded Pacers, so they're doing us a favor. And we know the Cavaliers, they have Courtney Aldridge and Amari Stoudemire. So, come on, man. We should be able to, like, beat them because they don't have no Kawhi Leonard or Chauncey Billups. We up 2-0. We up 3-0. Let's go ahead and sweep them. We back to the finals. Will this be the finals that Kawhi Leonard finally wins? Because he's 0-2. And we are going against the Raptors, and the Raptors have Jason Richardson, Jameer Nelson, Peja Stojakovic, Nick Collison, and Chris Kamen. Crazy lineup right here. It's uh, it, it, it's so crazy. Uh, They take game one. They take game two. Okay, we take game three. We take game four. We're evening it up, but they take that game five, man. I We needed that. We needed that game five. We're playing, going back at home, man. Can we please even it up to go to a game seven, please? And it looks like we are going to go to a game seven. We beat them by five, bro. Let's see what happened. Chauncey dropped 23. Jerry Stackhouse dropped 20. Where was Kawhi Leonard? Okay, he only dropped. He dropped a triple-double, but only 13 points. Um, It's cool, though. He played a defensive part, I guess. I, I'm, I, I ain't complaining. Oh, my God. They also have Michael Red. I just realized that. God damn. They they have some... Tyron Lue, they, they have some depth right here. All right, it's playoff mode. We are going to the game seven. They are at home. Come on, Kawhi. I know you want that ring so bad, and it's looking crazy right now. It's a, it's a, it's a single digits. Hold on. Can they, can they hold this lead? That's the question. And it's looking, it's looking close. Oh my God, it's going back and forth right now. And it's a tie game with a minute fifty one. I'm jumping in. All right, we do get the ball first. Come on, Kawhi. This is, this is the only chance you will get, man. All right, Charlie Villanueva setting Kawhi's screen. Kawhi to the rim. He takes it and he gets it to go. I thought he was going to dunk that shit, but he's old as hell. Here you go. They have Jameer Nelson. Oh, my God. Michael Red for the three, and he puts it in. How was he that open, man? We call a timeout, bro. They got to put Chauncey in. Let's go. All right, let's see what this team could do. Chauncey, he's going to find Kawhi down in the low post. Pages on him. Kawhi for the hook. And he couldn't get it, but LaFrance gets the board, puts it up, and hit him. Oh, and he won. He's going to go on the free throw line. What? I know we've had our bad blood, LaFrance, but please, thank you for hitting the free throw. My God. Oh, man. Nelson's open at the three. Oh, me. Oh, Peja. Oh, he's getting locked up by Kawhi, but Jameer Nelson open for the corner three. Couldn't get it to go. LaFrance for the big board. Come on. We need, we need a, a score right here. Chauncey Billups putting the moves on. Puts it up. Couldn't get it to go, Jones. All right, Chauncey for the leading mid-range. Couldn't get that to go. What was that? Oh, my God. He was so open, but he really needs that so late. Peja driving over Kawhi. Gets it to go. It is a tie game. This is a legacy game for you, Kawhi. Your legacy is on the line. Chauncey passes it down to Kawhi. He's going to back down Peja. Kawhi puts it up. Gets blocked. Didn't get the call. There's only 20 seconds left. Anything is possible right now. They're going to waste the clock right here. They got 10 seconds to go. Jameer Nelson gets the pick and roll. Jameer Nelson's open for the three. He didn't take it. 
He's gonna pass it out to Page. It looks like no, he takes the top of the key three. Couldn't get to the goal, and we're going to overtime. Bro, Kawhi, what was going through your head, man? That's crazy. All right, we're going to sim. I'm gonna sim a little bit of overtime. Hopefully, it's a close game, or if the Raptors are up, you know, like oh my god, okay, they score. They're up by six already. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What? We only scored three points in this overtime. That's 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 so devastating, bro. Richardson with 33, Michael Ray with 22. What did Kawhi do, bro? Kawhi put up 57 points. 57 in this game seven and lost. Are you kidding me? Charlie Villanueva went one for 10? And bro, Eddie Jones, you played, tw you played 27 minutes, zero points, zero. Oh my God. No, that is so messed up, bro. That is crazy. 57 just to lose. I've never seen anything like that. So there we go, bro. Kawhi Leonard is 0 for 3 in the finals. He just has bad luck, bro. I, I, it might be the Raptors. I don't know. It might be his just teammates. And Tracy McGrady, he's going to the Magic away at the age of 29. He left OKC. I, I'm just waiting for a big signing for, like, you know, the Raptors. You know, like, if the Raptors would want to pick up somebody, like, go ahead, bro. But I don't see the Raptors making any type of moves. But us re-signing Brian Scalabrini, dude. Kawhi Leonard, he's starting to re regress. He was at a 95 last year. Now he's a 92. Chauncey, too, he's regressing. They're getting older. This team's going to get worse. Jerry Stackhouse regressing, man. Yeah, this that was probably our last chance to win a championship, and we blew it. Or you know what? Kawhi's team blew it. Because 57 in a game seven, like, and we lose, I would, I would just, like, retire. Or just request a trade. Dwayne Wade in Indiana won a MVP. He's averaging 28, 5, and 10. Derrick Rose is playing for the Phoenix Sun now. Shout out to him, averaging 19. Joe Smith, six man, Tyson Chandler, DPOY. So Kawhi Leonard's not even winning those no more. That's unfortunate, man. But Kawhi Leonard, hey, he's an all NBA first team though. So he was he's still averaging damn near 30 points a game. Don't don't get it twisted. It's just the team is just like they let him down. He's we're back at a third seed too. And we always play the Bucks in the first round. I don't know why, but we're just obsessed with playing Tony Parker and Chris Bosch. So, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see if we could just win this series. We do lose game one. We lose game two. No way, man. No way. We are frauds, bro. We got swept. We got swept by the Bucks. They they got their vengeance, man. We are frauds. Kawhi, go ahead and request a trade already. God damn. But no, he signs the extensions, you know. He got five years with the Raptors. He's going to be a Raptor for life. I, I, I wouldn't expect Kawhi to lose this many finals, you know. It's, it's actually insane. And uh, we got a Rockets Bucks matchup. This is the person, uh, the team that we lost to last year against the team that we got swept by this year. And uh, yeah, let, let's just go ahead and let's see who wins that. And the Bucks do end up winning it all. Tony Parker just had a crazy playoff run, you know, averaging 24, 12 in the finals. So congratulations to him. At least we lost to the finals winner, you know. Wow, in the draft, we picked up Danny Green. So not that bad, but he's only a 70 overall. So Dwayne Wade, he wins another MVP. And Stephen Curry's in the league. And while you look at that, he's playing for the Warriors. It was just destiny, man. Gerald Wallace, six man. Tyson Chandler, DPOY. Russell Westbrook was most improved, too. And Kawhi Leonard, yup, he's back to NBA second team, bro. He's just stat padding at this point, bro. I'm not... I don't know how our Raptors... We just managed to be a third, second seed every year, but we can't do anything in the playoffs. Like, we're going against the Knicks, and we're going against a 97 overall Chris Paul. And they have an old Shaq uh, on that team, too. So, yeah, now they have Nick Shaq. Okay, so they win game one, though. They're winning game two. We're going to, we might lose in the first round again, but we're tying that. And they're, we're down 3-2. I don't even want to simulate, but hey, we're back to a game seven. So, you know what? I'm going to simulate this. Damn, and it looks like we closed out. We won that game seven. Now we're back in the second round, and we're going against the Pacers. And the Pacers, they have Dwayne Wade, who won back-to-back -back MVPs. And they have Jay Williams as well. They have Josh Smith, Jermaine O'Neal. Pretty good team, man. They could probably go all the way. But we do take game one. They take game two. We take game three, though. Hold on. We up 3-1? Okay, we back in the Eastern Conference Finals. But, hey, 
It's scary because we're going against the number who seeded Orlando Magic. Now, they have Tracy McGrady, Mike Conley, Kevin Love, Tyson Chandler. Great team. That's actually a great team, man. On paper, they, they're they really great. They were, hey, we tie it up 1-1. One, one. They're up 2-1. We tie it 2-2. Two, two. They take game five. Now, the Spurs, they made it over here. They swept the Jazz. I'm going to go ahead and simcast because this is, this is to tie up the series, man. And in this game six, we end up winning by three. Barely. Holy hell. Uh, Chauncey Billa dropped 45 and Tracy McGrady dropping 28. We know how Tracy McGrady get, bro. He'd be, he be going crazy. Now, we are we are at their home uh, stadium, and this this is going to be interesting, bro. You know what? To be honest, oh, my God. They started off crazy. I'm putting Kawhi Leonard on Tracy because we got to stop him, all right? Damn, and it looks like it doesn't matter because they creamed us by 20 points in that game seven, man. Like, we couldn't stand a chance. What happened? Tracy dropped 30. 17 bro i don't know man i don't know i don't know what what what's happening so yeah we didn't end up going to the finals again it's the magic and spurs now so there we go the magic we lose to the nba finals winner again tracy mcgrady winning the finals mvp you won four championships already this guy is a monster i'm not gonna lie to y'all yeah bro i just i think i just got a new video idea man just 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 looking at this but hey, uh, shout out to Tracy and the Magic. They win it. Tracy McGrady on the Magic. He's a he one MVP. He's averaging 26, 6, and 8. Damn, man. He's just going to take over the league. Evan Turner wins up, ends up winning rookie of the year. What? Baron Davis, six men. Uh, LeBron wins DPOY with the Thunder. Gary Jack. Damn, I haven't heard that name in a minute, but he wins most improved. And Kawhi Leonard, he fell to All-NBA third team. He's only averaging 26 now, 7, 6. He's still putting up numbers, but it, just know that his team sucks. We're nowhere near in the playoffs. It was bound to happen, man. Um, yeah, we're like 30 and 52, as you can see. We're we're really bad. So this we might get a cool draft pick. I don't know who, because this is the 2011 draft, and hey, Magic end up winning again. Mike Conley ends up winning the finals MVP though over Tracy. So there you go. But yeah, in this draft, it is it's really just Kyrie Irving. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell you that. And I think Klay Thompson, too. Yeah, it's Kyrie, Klay Thompson, and Jonas Valanciunas. But, uh, and Jimmy Butler as well. But, yeah, uh, I removed Kawhi from the draft class because, you know, Kawhi's already in the league, you know? It wouldn't make sense. So, hey, I want to go in the draft lottery. Let's see if we could potentially get the top pick. Can we? Uh, we're, pro we're projected uh, top five. Let's see if we could go up and we go down to the sixth pick. Nice. And we ended up signing Jonas Valanciunas. Not too bad for the... For the sixth pick, it don't, it don't matter. But, hey, the Bobcats passed up Kyrie and Klay Thompson for Corey Hammonds. And, yeah, Grizzlies got Kyrie. The Bucks got Jimmy Butler. The Celtics got Ennis Freedom. Blazers got Klay Thompson. So, yeah, we went ahead and picked up Jonas Valanciunas. That's probably the best pick out of everybody else. I, I don't want Campbell or Alec Burks or Justin Thompson, you know. Like, I, it, it is what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll take them, man. And, damn, Kawhi Leonard and Chauncey, they're both 89s, bro. Like, we're, we're basically finished. <laughs> we're basically finished, bro. Jason McGrady wins another MVP. Kyrie Irving wins the rookie of the year. LeBron James, DPOY. Well, hey, look, well, you look at that. He's averaging 31 2. And Paul George is most improved. Uh, he's playing for the Celtics. And nowhere to be found is Kawhi because he sucks and our whole team sucks. So this is really the downfall of Kawhi. He only won 40 games. We missed out on the playoff spot, too. But can you blame my man? Kawhi Leonard, let's see what he averaged. 22, 6, and 5. I don't think Kawhi Leonard will be able to win. Well, he's, he's past his prime. He's never winning an MVP now. But his only chance is to win a finals. And he's went 0 for 3, bro. It's like... But he's he's had a, a remarkable career. You know, he's been averaging 30. The Magic win again. What a shocker. And he's won so many DPOYs as well. So, hey, I wouldn't mind if he just retired right now, you know? Damn, so Tracy McGrady's taking over the league. What's new? Anthony Davis, he's playing for the Celtics. Rookie of the year. I forgot who else plays for the Celtics, but man, that, that team's looking pretty good. Another year, we don't make the playoffs. We suck, and we'll watch this. We're going to watch. Oh, it wasn't Tracy McGrady. He got eliminated in the second round. But uh, and we got a, a new finals matchup. It's looking like in the Chicago Bulls winning as a seventh seed. Kevin Garnett wins a ring. Uh, who else was on this team? Kyle Lowry? Okay. Damn, and Darren Williams, damn. Well, what a good team, bro. I miss Darren Williams. Darren Williams, was the conversations of being, like, the best P PG at the time with, like, Chris Paul? Not even joking. It's pretty crazy, but... As the 14th pick, we picked up Contavious Caldwell Pope. 
That's pretty sick, dude. Damn, without me even noticing, Kawhi Leonard retired in the year 2013. He had no type of M uh, MVPs or championships, but he did average 27, 7, and 5. So, hey, he was getting paid. I'll give him that averaging two steals and a block. That's pretty impressive. He made 14 all-star appearances, 6 DPOYs, probably one of the best defensive players in the world of all time. Um, he he couldn't win he couldn't win a championship. He went to three of them and lost all three. Um, but he did make three All NBA first teams, eight All, all NBA second teams, and one All NBA third team. Twelve All Defensive first teams and two Defensive second teams. He won Rookie of the Year as well. But yeah, that's pretty much his career right there. He's had a hell of a career. He just couldn't finish it out in the finals, man. And Kobe Bryant, you know, he's the all-time leading scorer, you know, with 40,000 points. He was in the same draft class as Kawhi. Kawhi dropped 37,000 points, so he's at number five. So Kobe got him beat at that. Field goals made, Kobe's at three. Kawhi Leonard's at seven. Three-pointers made. Kawhi Leonard, he's at number six. Uh, he made a, gr a good amount of three-pointers. It's pretty crazy, almost 4,000 threes. Free throws made, Kobe's at four. Kawhi Leonard, he's at six. Kawhi Leonard on the assist, he's ranked 81, but he didn't get that many assists, but he got 6,000. Kawhi Leonard, number 44, he got 1,500 blocks. And in the steals, he's the third all time. Uh, ahead of him is Jason Kidd and AI. But a hey, top three in steals is pretty insane. When minutes played, he got 51,000, ranked five. Points per game, Kawhi, you know, he's averaging 27. Steals per game, Kawhi, you know, he's ranked six with 2.21. 40 point games, Kawhi Leonard, he has 106 rank five and Kobe Bryant, he's at four, you know, with 164 40 point games. 50 point games, Kawhi Leonard, he got 14, pretty insane. He's had a, a, a big amount more, two more than Kobe Bryant. Kawhi Leonard, he had seven triple doubles uh, his whole career. So there you go with that. Now Kobe Bryant, he's 35, he didn't end up retiring yet. He still got a long way to go. But here's his awards if y'all wanted to know. He got 16 All-Stars. He hasn't won an MVP or a championship either. So pretty much Kawhi and Kobe, they didn't win the big awards. But overall, I would give I would give Kawhi the nod because he was a way better defensive player. But Kobe definitely had scoring though, for sure. But y'all, if y'all enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. It would mean a lot. It will help the channel a lot. And uh, comment down what other ideas y'all would want me to do and what's your favorite part of the video. And guys, I also stream on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Alonzo. Go ahead and follow that. I'll be streaming there, here and there. Uh, we just be chatting, uh, messing around, you know, talking NBA, NFL, all that, bro. Like, you won't regret it. But I appreciate y'all if y'all made it to this part of the video. I love y'all so much. Y'all have a great day and peace out.